Hey, welcome to the Android Device channel and the Android channel in general where we try to explain everything and this is another video in a series of explaining the different options and what they mean in your Android tablet, phone or like this Android PC HDMI stick that is on my TV. Um, there might be some slight differences depending on the uh, version of the Android operating system you're using but there um, is also stuff that you might uh, find interesting here. So let's go into the settings. These are the general settings that are available in most Android devices. Um, they are most of the time in a black screen available through um, this menu where you have at the left side uh, or simply a list in the menu and you click on it and other options are available. So the first one is on wireless and networks on uh, my device. So we'll check on wireless and networks information and what we can do and change if possible. Many ways you can uh, plug in an Android device to the internet. Some are through Ethernet. So if you have an Android device that has an Ethernet port you can actually plug in a wire. That's what Ethernet is. Um, but probably 99% of all Android devices that I've seen and that are on the market will be through Wi-Fi. You can turn on and off Wi-Fi. Um, why do you want to turn off Wi-Fi? For one thing, if you have a mobile phone that's running Android, uh, you'll probably be switching from one network to another on your uh, cell phone carrier. You have two ways basically of getting internet when you have a mobile device, a mobile phone with Android is through your carrier or through Wi-Fi. Now the best way for most people is through Wi-Fi because it doesn't cost anything uh, because data on phones are pretty expensive in general so most of the users will want to use Wi-Fi as much as possible but when you're not in range of a Wi-Fi device then you might want actually to turn off the Wi-Fi because it will save battery life when you turn off Wi-Fi it really extends your battery life a lot and so you gotta uh, if, you, if you're gone for a while and you're worried about not having enough battery um, and you know you're not going to connect to a Wi-Fi or you know you'll, you'll connect maybe to a Wi-Fi device but only for a small amount of time turn it off while you're going you know just using your phone and you're not on any Wi-Fi <laughs> and at least you can turn it on when needed and turn it back off if you are uh, somewhere else. So by switching on and off you'll be able to save some battery life. Wi-Fi does take a lot of battery on a mobile device so when you can turn it off uh, it's not a bad thing it really really makes a difference in the uh, extension of your uh, device. Another uh, thing that you can do is actually gonna come up a little later on the display on um, putting your display um, you know the more it's bright the more battery it uses so if you dim your display that's another way of saving battery so Wi-Fi that you can turn on or off is uh, one of the first features that you are um, of course uh, available and when it's on you'll see also that there are a list of Wi-Fi networks around you. So here you see in my case I have um, three, four, five devices uh, networks that could show up and um, so what you will do is you click on your own network mine is called Top Secret. I click on it, I enter my um, Wi-Fi password and you're connected. So that's also another way where you'll see because when your Wi-Fi is on, you'll see the list of networks that you can connect to. 
that's where you want to connect. As for networks, well, there's Ethernet that's available. Ethernet is rarely used in Android, but it can be used. Um, some devices like this USB, uh, this uh, HDMI stick, which is a, a little PC into a, a, a stick that plugs in the back of my TV, uh, has a feature where you can actually plug in in the USB port a Ethernet jack and have the internet come in through a cable which plugs in there but that's very very uh, seldom used actually it's very rare and I actually never seen in my eyes a Android device using internet but it's there if it's um, if you want so that's basically the two ways you'll connect to the internet on um, local networks and you'll have of course a third way, which is your uh, IS, your, your your cell provider, and that will show up as 3G or LTE or uh, cell data. Sometimes it's just written data on the uh, display of your phone. So that's uh, the way to uh, check. And you'll often have mobile networks available or checked from. So it says data enabled roaming. Uh, access point, the modem power. Each device has its own ways of um, actually connecting through 3G networks. Um, here you, you see one that says use only 2G networks, saves battery. Um, keep in mind in your Android device if you are using very fast device, for example my phone uses LTE which is the fastest uh, network here in Canada and LTE means long-term evolution which is a network that goes fast and is supposed to be uh, going faster and faster with time and so LTE is actually um, very very demanding on the battery because it's such a fast and high power um, network so by Tearing off L LTE or turning off 3G or using older networks, what happens is that it saves battery life, but it does have a very a tremendous uh, impact on the speed of your connection. So be careful about that, the uh, way that you connect. And um, the faster, the better, most of the time. And I would actually. Um, instead of you know lowering the speed of your phone connection, um, turn off Wi-Fi when it's not needed and turn it back on when it's needed. And I think that's a better way of managing your uh, connections uh, on wireless with your phone, your mobile device, or whatever Android device you might be using, your tablet, and so on. So this was a talk about how to connect the different wireless and Ethernet and ways that you connect to the web and to data on Android devices. Look for other parts. We're going to explain almost everything that is in the uh, options and the settings menu in your Android device. If you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. Maybe you have a request of a feature or something you'd like to talk about. Uh, tell us and if we can we'll make a video out of it and you'll be helping others and uh, hey if you enjoy Android and all Android devices uh, stay tuned to our channel and we'll try to uh, make as many videos as possible helping you understand how to use your different devices so thanks for watching and hope you come back to this Android channel bye bye <laughs>